I wanted to use up some denim scrap pieces that I had left over. So I mixed up some different denim fabrics in different shades and colors to cut out McCall's 8511 and I wanna make the shorts. So I'm about to go out to dinner. I'm wearing the Vogue barrel jeans and then this top is actually a new look pattern that used to be a dress. We are going to Buffalo Wild Wings. So I think I'm gonna get their fried pickles and I'm craving french fries. So that's the plan. And then there should be some football on. So I know my husband will enjoy watching some games while we eat. I'm stopping at Joe Wins to pick up some interfacing for the shorts. I need to interface like the waistband, one of the pocket areas and a couple other pieces. So I'm looking here to see what kind I wanna get. Looking for a lightweight fusible. They have so many different ones. This, is that lightweight? Soft and stay. Let's see. Oh, this might be, no, I think that's for stretch. Okay, let me figure this out. Hi, Hi. may I just have the whole bolt? Sure can. Are you okay with this little Rippy thing? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Hurt you. No, it's not. That, that'll be okay. How how much is it? So there's a yard and 30. So your 30 inches would be a remnant. So that the 30 inches would be half price. And it is $1.29 a yard. Okay, that's fine. And then your 30 inches, 0. 0.833. Okay, your 30 inches will be 53 cents. <laughs> All right. So you got your bargain for the day. Yes, <laughs> yes, for sure. I also picked up some gray thread. Since I'm gonna be using multiple colors of denim, I figure if I get like a gray thread, which is neutral, then I'll be fine with, you know, sewing up all these different colors of denim. So my husband dropped me off. I see him parked over there. So I'm trying to get to him because there's a lot of cars coming. When he dropped me off at the door, I was like, you need anything? As a joke, knowing good and well, he doesn't want anything from Joanne Fabrics. All of these pieces up here need to be interfaced. So you have two pieces here and two pieces here. And these pieces are hem facings that go on the bottom of the shorts. This piece goes around your pocket. These two pieces are for your zipper. And then you have the waistband. I do have some navy thread. So as I'm thinking about this, I'll use the navy thread when I'm sewing the darker colors. And then for the lighter colors, I'll use the gray. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The shorts are coming along. I've been in here sewing for a couple hours now. I'm about to take a break, but I wanna share with you what I have done so far. This is the whole front, all done with the zipper in and the pockets. This is going to be the fabric used for the waistband and for the belt loops. And then this down here is going to be the hem on each leg. And then this is what the back is going to look like.
I have been sewing a flat bell seam on some of these seams. So this is the one back leg and now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other back leg. I am so frustrated because there's a mosquito in here and it keeps showing up at the most inopportune times and it is bothering me while I'm trying to sew. So I went and grabbed a pair of shoes so I can do one of these numbers when I see it. And of course, now I cannot find it. I don't see it anywhere. But I bet as soon as I start sewing, it's going to show up. I have the full back done with the back yokes added up here at the top. Now I'm going to attach the back of the shorts to the front of the shorts through the middle seam, the end seam. And then after that, I will be able to sew the crotch seam together. This is the front of the shorts with the waistband and the belt loops on. I just need to go ahead and finish off the hem area with this facing. And then this is what the back is looking like. So I'm almost done. And if you don't want to put the facing on, you can just hem the shorts from this point and be finished. I'm pinning one front facing to one back facing and then stitching on the sides. And then this will go around the bottom of one leg and then this will be the bottom of the other leg. The whole time I've been sewing the shorts, I thought that the facing was going to hang out and actually be an extended hem. But it's supposed to go all the way inside and then you stitch it down. So it's going to be tucked inside, which makes sense because that's what facings do. And I don't know why it did not dawn on me until now. So I guess if you want it or if I wanted to, I could just hem it up and let it extend a little bit. But now I don't know, maybe I will go ahead and just sew it down from the inside or I might just try it on and then figure it out. But the whole intent on the pattern is for it to be tucked inside. I think what I'm going to do is just hem here at this area instead of tucking it under. It will give me a little more length and since I went ahead and cut the pieces out anyway, I'll just do it that way. I think I will like it better with the extension hanging out just because it gives me another color and like I said it gives me a little more length too. So I think that's what I'm going to do and then if I don't like it I guess I can always take it off later but for now I'm going to go ahead and add the other one and like I said instead of tucking it in I'm going to leave it out. So that's how it's going to be. It should be in the back of the refrigerator. So I just made this hat with some of the scraps that I had left over. It is Simplicity 9509 and I didn't make it like it was supposed to be made. Like this brim was supposed to be two layers. I just used one layer. I wanted to see if I would like the hat. So. I actually kind of like it, but then I'm kind of on the fence about whether I really will wear it. And this was supposed to be uh, interfaced, I believe. I think it was supposed to be lined and interfaced. So yeah, this is the result. At least I know what it looks like if I decide to make it for real. Dinner today is chicken fajitas. I made this earlier and I put it in the refrigerator so it's cold, but my husband was asking for the sour cream so he can go ahead and heat it up and eat. Mm -hmm. 